What is happening, people? United Centrally back with another video. Podcast 61. 61, guys. With my two guys. We're in quarantine, lockdown, as you should be, unless you got work like me. But man like Aaron, man like Nordy, what are you telling me, guys? Corona up, man. As uh, always, this is day uh, 14 for me now. Two weeks, exactly, on the spot. Two weeks, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Man like Aaron, yo. Shout out to Aaron, a TikTok legend. Oh, bro, the I, I, talk bro, legend. I'm having no, too much Have you seen his latest one? No, bro. <laughs> have you? Oh my God, man! This guy, yeah, is a legend. <laughs> if you know, you know. Everybody, go follow him on TikTok, yeah. So the what? Latest... The... So hit me, man. Talk to me. Break it down, man. Yeah, right, so... man you got to break it down. <laughs> Basically, I'm I'm at home and I'm quarantined and. I don't know what to do. I'm bored. If I'm not playing PlayStation, I'm watching Netflix. And if I'm not watching Netflix or playing PlayStation, I'm doing TikTok. So basically, I'm uh, redoing uh, some of my favorite <laughs> things that I've seen in the past. I think the first one was, or the second one, sorry, was, uh, no, the first TikTok, because the first one was a thriller with the suits. Um, that's another app. But the TikToks, the first one was uh, one of my favorite Cat Williams scene um, in his stand-up uh, where he's talking about weed. Uh, and the second one was yesterday, where I posted my one of my favorite uh, battle rap scenes. So what it is basically, I put the camera vertically, uh, the sound is playing, and I basically just have to lip sync everything in it. So I do everything in parts because it's hard to like lip sync everything at once. So I do, I will listen to a specific part like ten times in a row. Will stay in my brain. I'll do the lip sync at the exact same time and do this for every part, and then put the TikTok together and then put it out there and just make people laugh, man. That's that's all we can do in this. You know, in, your in this... Where, where can I see this? Um, I haven't even posted it on my Twitter. I've posted mainly on my Instagram, but I'm going to post it on Twitter. I'm going to post it on Twitter. Yo, that will go viral, man. You know what? I can't just get another... I'm not... I'm, I just don't want to download another app, man. I feel, I feel like I'm an old man, man. I feel like <laughs> I'm an old man. I can't be TikTok now. Then I got to keep up with the next app, with the next app, and the next app. Yo, uh, hey, just just what for you... Making... you just for you, I'll post it on Twitter. Don't worry. Yeah, hit that. Like I said, I like the suits one on Twitter. That's why I was going mad, but you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what you need Listen, to do? Man. You know what you need to do is get a video of Papoose. And yeah. Then Yo. Get Papoose. Papoose that actually. Record, record Papoose rapping. Then it cuts to you. Then you're... Oh, wow. So that confuse people, Ruboy. Mess people oh, up, man. That's, that's that a good idea. Viral. That's a very good idea. Yo, I might try when we finish filming. I might try that still. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, Lordy, you could be on TikTok. Just tell him that's a that guy, Red Devil Production, mate. That's where it came <laughs> Exclusive, Lordy. Mate. Exclusive. Lordy, if you were to if you were to give one one a uh, TikTok, what would you do? Yo, you know what I would say? TikTok Corona up. <laughs> <laughs> No impressions of Ollie. No, none of that, mate. No, yeah, listen. What do you do? What the water is out. The juice, Ollie juice is over there, mate. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know who knew them would good? Me and Ollie Olly are doing a bit of social distancing, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just like you the football, eh? Just like Nodin, the football. Nodin would have done a good impression of Neil Ashton. That's that's where you were. Yo, <laughs> I would have done. The, your boy Neil. Yo, not let him out, man. Is he still under the, under the bed? He's still hey, missing, yo, man. Yo, <laughs> it's in the bag, it's in the bag somewhere. <laughs> Honestly, man. Obviously, I've just been playing career mode. I started a career mode. Ole gonna freestyle. My career mode's called Ole gonna freestyle. At the minute, we just nearly gave Partey one million pound <laughs> wages. Honestly, 40 what did grand for this plus. You've made the same mistake as Flex. Flex, Flex. gave, <laughs> Flex gave, bro, Nudens, Flex gave Bay a one million a week wage. <laughs> Negotiation. I, told, I told Flex, I was like, because he posted on Instagram and I replied to him, I was like, you know what, yeah, Bay is probably, Eric's probably looking at you like, Gaffer, merci, merci beaucoup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I must be playing career that? mode. Could you imagine if somebody told Bay about that, that he would he would get onto, uh, get onto Flex, trust me, he would. Yeah, he would, he would, he would. So how you been dealing with the quarantine, Lord? How how's life for you under the quarantine? Yo, I, I can see real fear out there, man. Obviously today I think about 500, 400 what odd people, five hundred people are supposed to have died. But still not.
hard. That's why your boy Boris gone missing. Your boy, you know what I mean? Your boy, what's his name? Matt Hancock gone missing. But apparently he might come back now because he, he's already out today. Waited for seven days, so he might feel a bit better now. All of that business, mate. You know what? Corona to that. That's what I say, mate. Corona to that. You know what, Aaron, yeah? Shout out to Germany, yeah? They've yeah. absolutely done a mad job on sorting this corona. 1,000 tests, 100,000 tests a day. Yep. And England have done nothing. So shout out to Berlin. Shout out to Germany, man, for doing it. We have absolutely just not taken it seriously. And Germany have done that. It's all talks in England, man. It's all talks. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. So, yeah, fair enough. They're doing some stuff. But a lot of the stuff that they're saying they're going to do, they're not doing it. But um, as for me, bro, I'm just, yeah, like I said, day 14. Uh, I'm literally counting the days. I'm not even saying weeks, it's day 14. You know what I mean? Um, today we had um, we had a web conference call with, uh, with the whole of the Manchester-based, uh, you know, of our company, with the Manchester office, the London office and the Dublin one and the Germany one. Uh, we've had a conference call. Um, everyone was muted, but it was our CEO speaking and he was given a PowerPoint presentation at the same time. Um, so, you know, it was our turn as well. A lot of people have been furloughed, uh, 180, I think. Um, and if you're below a certain wage cap, um, if you're below a certain wage cap or what you earn a year, um, you know, you either get a wage cut or you either get to keep your money. The money that you were earning while, when you were working is the same amount of money you're going to keep earning on furlough. And luckily enough, your boy is going to keep earning, you know, 100% of his wages, which I'm so grateful for. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so that, that's like, that. <laughs> yo, a man didn't want to take that, you know, wage cut, you get me. But um, our CEO was speaking and he was like, I understand the situation and this is why I have been, I have, uh, I'm willingly accepting to take a 60% wage cut. And I was like, right, do you know what? Yo, that's a leader. That's a leader. Fair man. play, man. Fair Yo, that's play. That's a boss. That's yeah. a boss, bro. Mate. A 60% wage cut. That's, bro, that's Tell not everyone talk to can Daniel do that. Levy, man. Tell him to talk to Daniel <laughs> Levy. Do you know what no I mean? Waste, when, man. when he said that, I was like, do you know what? Hats off, man, honestly. But yeah, apart from that, I'm all good. And yeah, we're, um, I think I'm being furloughed until the end of May. So I'm at home till the end of May, at least, like guaranteed. Wow. So, yeah. So here we go, man. So more so videos, if... uh, more TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Aaron going madness, yeah? Bro, absolute madness. <laughs> so if Norden, if Aaron's saying that he's going to be a third or what, or you talk about, like, you know, just being at home till May, how do you honestly see the Premier League even, even talking about the Premier League? Exactly. You know what I mean? It's, if people are still, their daily lives are talking Norden, and, and, and we cannot even talk about Premier League as much as I'm itching for football. I've been here doing recreating scenes from, from the 2008, you know what I mean, Champions League <laughs> final, you know what I mean, in the house, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here recreating scenes, you know what I mean? Like, Nuruddin, man, as much as we want football, how, how does it look bleak to you? How, can you see a light at the end of the tunnel for you? I can't see no light, zero darkness, it is. The only, the only thing that gives me light is that how they're doing it in China. And the, and the city where all of this madness started, <laughs> Wuhan, how people, like, slowly but surely, people are returning to normal. But they've got some serious testing things that go on over there. So you walk into a shop, they've got this thing that reads your temperature, mate. <laughs> wow. Everywhere. And, 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 social app, they, you know, their apps, apparently, all their phone is connected to wherever they're going. So the yeah. government, it's a, it's a communist, obviously, it's a communist state, but everywhere... They 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 take the temperature and it links to their phone and oh my days! This but you crazy. can see that happen in England though. We have so much privacy laws and whatnot. Yeah, but yo, know, they're gonna erode that away sooner or the later. But anyway, oh, yeah, definitely. Um, what they're doing is basically what they're doing is is to bring about this kind of like normality in China. What they're trying to do. So that gives me hope that. You know, they've been in it, but they did a complete lockdown of the country, innit? Complete mm. lockdown. And things are trying to return to normal bit by bit, but it's still a slow process. They've not, they said they've not discovered any new cases. Do we believe the Chinese authorities? Do we really believe them? Uh, I don't know. On this one, maybe we should believe them, but other times, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? They're also doing all sorts of madness. So, uh, to me, that, what, that's what gives me hope, that this is not going to be as, as it is right now. We're not going to be all on lockdown. Things will return back to what we think is normal. Things will never be the same again. I know that. No. Nah. Yeah, yeah. But things will go back to what we think the normal flow of life. And until then, 
I think safety comes first before any football. Even that saying that, the idea of maybe things were going back to people, you see people going back to work. And if the football teams were all self-quarantined in these hotels, and if they were playing matches quickly, do you know what I mean, in these stadiums, behind closed doors, then the league, the league season could be finished. That's the only way I see it. So in May, and I don't know how long I'm going to be furlonged for, or follow for long for. I can't even <laughs> say the word. Can't say the word. <laughs> Listen, I've been temporarily let go. I'm, and, the, and the government, and my taxes, my hard-earned taxes that I paid over the years is paying my wages. Not the government. Don't get it twisted. Man like me, I've been working since I was a kid, mate, always paying taxes. So the, the, my taxes are paying for my wages till this passes over. This ain't coming from Boris. Don't get it twisted. Facts. Aaron, Aaron, for you, what do you see? Obviously, Champions League uh, announced. Obviously, we said it on the back, uh, the uh, European podcast show. Make sure you go watch that out, guys. But obviously, they've said indefinitely suspended. Now, mm -hmm. for you, if someone says to you indefinitely suspended, Spanish League say indefinitely suspended. Like, they're not seeing a time frame where this could actually happen again. Like, for you... Do you see a light in the tunnel or do you just see a case of, again, let's just take it week by week and let's take it, you know, as they all say, game by game, but let's take it week by week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. What, what's, I, you know, are you positive at the minute or are you, are you a bit like, you know what, mate? It's looking bleak, man. It is looking peak, man, because I think with all the statements that they're coming out with, they're just trying to, you know, keep the hopes up with football fans because they know there are very, very passionate football fans out there and they're trying to keep their hopes up as well. You know, because imagine they just came out with, even though I think they should have said that from the start, imagine they came out with, all right, coronavirus is here, uh, Champions League done, Europa League done, boom. Like, if, everyone's going to be like, no, why, why are you doing this? Like, give it time. Like, look at how the thing's developing. But looking Can at I the, the thing now. And... Can I just stop you there, Aaron? No, they would not have. You know who the people would have been said? Oh, yeah, of course. Your of three course. billion, you know, your five billion TV money. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you said it on the European football show, side um, that, you know, they're looking to play the, the all the semis uh, and yeah. the final in Gdansk, like, keep it there. Bro, if they do that, yeah, like, I, I, I pay for Sky and BT, innit? They will create a special package from the BT that I'm already paying for and create the Champions League and the Europa League uh, nice. package, special package. So you'll pay Sky, BT and that special package. Bro, they know how to make the shmoney in it. They know how to make it. Bro, special pack, special package, and they'll probably price that at 50 pounds, bro. And because we're all <laughs> missing football, and because they know there's passionate fans out there, man, I'm gonna spend that 50 pounds without even blinking. Do you know what oh, I mean? Bro, bro, mate, that's bro. But obviously, this is the podcast, straight jacket podcast, and obviously we're gonna talk my United news. <laughs> Obviously, Fabrizio Mamano still doing a transfer talk. I don't know how he's doing it yet. Fam, I don't know how he does that it. I don't know how what links he's got yet. <laughs> but he's been talking that Man United and Dortmund have come out and quoted and said they would not sell for more, no more than less than 150 million euros, which in in uh, pounds and sterling that is 98 million. And for me, Nuridin, 98 million is an absolute bargain. Do you think Man United can go there? And will will everything be changed now in terms of Man United? Could, are they still going to be that financial superpower now? Or do you think Man United now have to re-value their, their kind of status in football now? Because this corona is going to affect everyone. So are Man United going to really splash this summer? That's going to be the title. Are Man United going to splash this summer? No. Let me tell you something. There's going to be a massive global recession that's affecting football. You can tell already like the likes of Juventus, the likes of Barcelona... They're asking players to, 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 to do bits. If Man United came out tomorrow and said all the players, you know what I mean? Like all of the players, like like you were telling us uh, how your boss got you all in there and said if if your boy Woodward comes out and says, I'm taking a 80% pay cut because he's a multi He's, he's mate, never yeah? going to do that. He's never going to do that. <laughs> listen, listen, he's taking, a, he's taking that. Your, your boy Neil Ashton says he's worth for two pence, you know what I mean? Especially <laughs> That's what he's worth, mate. That's what he's worth, mate. You know what I mean? And, 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 and he's, 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 on, he's, on, he's on work experience. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you might listen, you might get some bit of travel money, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? 
<laughs> I need the expenses, man. You know, that you time's know, a rough. I'd like a cup of tea and maybe a, a cup of tea and a sandwich at, at a tank and a canteen. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm going to get a voucher for that. Voucher. <laughs> uh, but oh, all the good. players are Man United. I think the, the players are Man United should be asked to take a page cut just to guarantee the rest of the staff that work there so that they are being secured in the next couple of months because things have to be guaranteed in terms of a couple of months. So it might be original plan for me, for my organisation in terms of like, we were looking at this 12 weeks. They reckon after 12 weeks, we'll know what's going to happen. That yeah. means that's been three months. So it's mm-hmm. going to be the whole of April, whole of May, and then we're going into June. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That, like you said, things can change. The peak, what's going to hit in terms of the deaths, and the type of, like, the what's going on with this madness of the virus. It's going to be the next couple of weeks, and we'll know. But from other countries, we can tell already that things are slowing up. But I think Man United plays. If if Man United, because we know Glazonomics in it, you know what I mean? That's why it is named it says Glazonomics. Not economics, Glazonomics. <laughs> they don't spend a, a penny more than they have to. We know that, all right? Yep, yep. And I think the market is going to change. The, I'm talking about everybody's market, and I was just saying that before on the European Football Show. You guys check it out on Aaron's YouTube channel. And I was saying that there's, there's going to be a global recession most likely. You know, I mean, we're already in a recession now because the, the world economies have slowed down. And we all know that, you know, vampires, money men have took control of football. And these vampires, these leeches want to leech off football. So they ain't going to spend. If this goes into their profits, they're not going to spend money. So... Mm-hmm. Man United, I'll be shocked. And I put the tweet out there yesterday just saying all of this madness because we all get caught up in it because we're all taking for football. We're going mad, like I say, like cold turkey for football. So we get getting caught up in this football hype. We're like, yeah, we get that play. Oh, definitely. Sancho will look. I'm, and then I'm thinking, hold on a minute. It's going to be a global recession like nobody's business. On the, under the Glazers, there's been recessions before, but there's been <laughs> Glazer recessions that they <laughs> themselves where mm. they're not paying for anybody, where we yep. sell one player and then we We've spend that money to get another now. player. So, yo, you can take your Neil Ashton with his two pence, with his canteen voucher and shove it where the sun don't shine, mate. He, with his propaganda, ain't going to save the Glazers. Don't get it twisted. For 98 million, though. For 98 million, though, Rodin. Uh, Neil Ashton's doing his job. No, 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 he's not, he's not. He's, listen, Neil Ashton's not doing no job, mate. All it is is propaganda, mate. Straight up propaganda. Straight up to sell newspapers. And that's all he's providing. Propaganda FC, but All man. I'm saying to you is that Dortmund, your guy, what's his name? Vod, vodka, whatever his name is. Hans Joachim Vatka. Yo, Vatka. Vatka needs to drink some more out of that Vatka, <laughs> mate. You know what he needs to do? Because he ain't selling nobody for 98, for 98 million, mate. That's because not happening. Because there ain't going to be no clubs buying play, players at that price. I reckon I, he's just trying to... Come just down. Trying... All of the prices are going to come down. I think yeah. agents fees have to come down. I think players' wages have to come down because mm-hmm. football clubs is about survival. And especially Man United, if you're owned by a leech of all the leeches, mate. Have you seen what happened? Man United shares wiped, mate, <laughs> of the stock exchange in New York. Wiped. God. Really? Yeah, are you kidding me? Every company, all of that, gone, mate. Wiped off. Lost hundreds of millions, mate. So, wow. people don't get this twisted, right? There's a full picture out here. Football is linked to the global economy. Global economy goes, uh, everything will have to go, uh. So, my guy in Dortmund, stop smoking that crap. Going from the vodka to the crap pipe, mate. I know it's Corona. <laughs> stop smoking that crap. But Aaron, Aaron, yeah. Sanchuel, Van, Vodka, whatever his name is, is he not going to be tempted by the 98 million to get him back in, up their feet? You know what I mean? To get Dortmund on their feet. German, Dortmund are not a big superpower. They don't spend big. They recruit, you know what I mean, in terms of young talent and they, and they nurture young talent and they bring up kind of snippets from here and there. Are you telling me if Man United are still stable and still have their financial power, are you all telling me that that Vodka guy won't be tempted by the, 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 the 98 million Sancho, which <laughs> from Mr. Romano has reported that they won't sell for 98 million, no less than 98 million. It's gonna be it's gonna be one of those where it's gonna it's gonna be one of those where look at what happened with all the high profile players that we we signed. Harry Maguire, how long did we take to sign him? But about a month? About a month? Two Two months. What was the the, the asking price? What was the asking price? Eighty million? Yeah, eighty. Eighty million. How long did we take to get that eighty million to finally pay that? 
Bruno Fernandes in Jan. Oh, what year? Do you know what I mean? Bruno Fernandes in Jan. And how long did we take just to pay? How much is it? 50, what, 50? 50, no, 53 million. How long did we take to just pay? Fi- I know people are going to watch this and say, oh, it's 53 million, it's a lot of money. But in football in terms, oh, 53 God. million for a, cal- for a player of his calibre is cheap. 50 million should be coming out of your pocket like this. Like, choo, here you go, 53. There you go. <laughs> and now the asking price for Sancho is 98 million. Bro, we are going to take all the time that we need to get this transfer done. And believe, best believe that Ed Woodward is going to try everything to try and get some, in, to, to try and get some add-ons in there. He's going to start with, he's going to say, oh, uh, 98, 98 million. Okay. 50 million with, you know, 40 add-ons if he wins the Ballon d'Or, if he does this, if he does... Th- Dortmund are going to be like, no, 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 98 million. No, okay. Uh, 55 million plus <laughs> 40 plus add-ons. Dortmund are going to be 98 million. And it's going to carry on like this and they're going to go it's up. It's going to be like a career up, mode, man. Until yeah. someone else comes, a Barcelona comes and says, hey, look, uh, 92 million, what are you saying? Dortmund are going to be like, all right, cool. And then... That's when we're going to step in because it happened to us before. It happened to us before. Maguire, City wanted him. All of a sudden, oh, we jump on him, boom, we paid at 80 million. Fernandez, Barcelona came in, wanted to pay for him and then loan him out to Valencia. They were like, no, 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 okay, we'll pay it. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, we're going to take all of our time, bro, if it happens. If we really in for that transfer for, J- for Jaden Sancho, we're going to take all of our time. We're going to sign Sancho on deadline day in the last minute and it's going to be announced on Sky Sports. <laughs> Wow. wow. Listen, I, I don't... You two guys are smoking something in the corona, mate. <laughs> don't worry, man. Down. Believe in the process. I need to check. Believe in the process. Let me tell you something. Did you hear what Xavi came out? I think Xavi came out recently and was like, ooh, fantastic player Sancho is. Yo, that's, that's, a, that's a heavyweight. Xavi still got connections at Barcelona. Barcelona yep. players, Messi's taking massive cuts to safeguard the club. They might be saving that money to get to go and buy players because they know. And, and you know what? Not to not to cut you off, Nudin. And he's he's so right. He's absolutely right because obviously Xavi declined the Barcelona job, but that new coach is not doing well at the moment. If My Barcelona God. go in a madness again and sack uh, what's his name, Kika Setien, if they if they sack Setien, and magically boom, they announce Xavi, new manager of Barcelona. Bro, if Xavi says I want Sancho. Best belief he's going to get some. First of all, he's going to consult with Leo Messi. They're going to have their own private meeting. they be like, all right, Le- Leo, what, what players do you want around you? That's, that's <laughs> going to be his question. What players do you want around you? If Leo Messi says, uh, J- Sancho? If he wants Sancho, best belief they're going to pay for Sancho. Serious. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro, there's no messing about. When Leo Messi wants someone, they go and get him. They go and get him. And if Barcelona wants Sancho, they're going to get Sancho. Bro, do you not think with that goal, that wonder goal that you scored at the new Camp, do you not think people were looking at him like, yo, this kid, he could play for us, you know? He could play for Do you not think the, the, the Barcelona, they, bro, they looked at him and they went, hmm, it's interesting. But for now, we're going to lay low. Because first of all, they want to get, if they get Sancho, let's say, the first thing they'll have to do is get rid of Griezmann, get rid of uh, Suarez because he's aging, and get Usman rid Dembele, of maybe Usman, Usman Dembele. Dembele. Those three, that's 200 mil already. That's 200 mil. Easy. Easy. 200 mil, do you not think they'll get Sancho? Of course they'll get Sancho, bro. So, yeah, sorry, not to cut you off, Nordin, but I just wanted to no, get... No, 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 I'm just saying it. No, 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 that's, that's it. So, I don't know where you guys see this. And you know, like, he said, Aaron just laid it out. And the one thing to add was Sanchez. Sanchez was thinking about going to City, Man United. 450 grand, we'll give it him. Look where we are now. Well, we can use so some of the me, wages, then. The wages listen, from Sanchez. Listen, so what I'm saying to you, Man United, <laughs> if I was Man United now... And if I was Ed Woodward and he was doing his job, he would call all the players, first team players, and say, take a massive weight cut, maybe half or maybe less than Will more they do than... that though? Will they do that? Listen, because they're millionaires. Of course yeah, they are. Yeah, bro. They they're multi millionaires. They, they should. Can, they can Listen, afford to not play for two years and still be all right. And what he will say is, with that money, I'm safeguarding, I'm safeguarding, right? Safeguarding the transfer and us bringing in players. I don't think I'll be shocked. And then you know what he should do if any players say no? Name them, shame them. Name them, shame them. So what if Bobber said, I don't want to give my wages up? Well, he said, I don't. He will, he will. You know what? Then see you later. Then see you later, mate. Then you're playing with the kids till till I get the money for you. 
Do you know what I mean? Uh, then, Charlie, I can't know it. Come on, man. You got me. Really no, I'm saying to you, you're training with the kids till I get the money that I want for you, and you're not going anywhere. Are you not a football club? Money. Are you not a football club? Are you telling me we're going to run out of money? We're on shirt sales and what all financial powers in China. You don't understand. They're not making money. We are. I, I just broke it down for you about the glazonomics. It's about their money. <laughs> we're not a normal club, Saeed. We are run by absolute. Since Neil Ashton has got up to your batty and washed your batty for you and then you know, <laughs> found to your head, you know what I mean? You've become like a defender of the Glazers. It's I'm like, not defending the Glazers, I'm not. Listen, I'm just trying to see no, sense no, in where United still have money. We still listen, do have we money. Do. We're a Man financial make money. Power. Man United make money, yes. But what have the Glazers done? Man, you, Glazers have put United on a diet, mate. On a diet for the past, <laughs> what, so many years. That's why we've been left behind. That's the why we are where we are. And then add a global recession to that. Do you think they're going to be coming out of that splashing? Unless they nah. be looking for this day. We still, Man United have yes, got to still, we owe how much money to the banks? Are you kidding me? What about the sponsors then? The sponsors did deals. Yo, some of these sponsors are pulling out already because we're not in the Champions League anymore. Yeah. So, that is, it's the base where you start from. It's the base where you start They've already put money out on a financial diet with your boy Woodward, and now your boy Woodward then hires Neil Ashton to cover that up. Do you know what I mean? To 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 to, to, to get people like you all excited. You know what I mean? Washing your body every two minutes. You know what I mean? because you think, yeah, Sancho, Sancho's coming. You know what I mean? Surely United have something called assets. Glazers must have assets that they would bring out in times of need, no. in times of you know, Sorry. you know, there's something, man. They have to have. Oh, so I. This face, this flying face that you're putting on them, it's shocking. So for me, if I was Woodward, if I was a thinking Woodward now, I would say to the players, guys, take a pay cut so that I can guarantee to bring good players to the, to, so that when everybody else is weak now because of the financially, like Juventus, Juventus don't make even anywhere near what Man United do globally, Juventus. And they're the biggest club in Italy. They've had to drastically ask the players to take a massive wage cut, and that saves them. I think that's going to save them like 90 something odd million, right? Can you imagine 90 odd million? Man United, that's the only way I think we get Sancho. If all the players take a massive wage cut, and everybody at the club who's done football inside, jobs are guaranteed, right? The wages are getting paid. And then whatever comes out of that money, there'll be a lot more left of that. Then that money goes into the transfer kitty. And then so that when everybody else is weak around you, when everybody else financially struggling, we can just go, you sell him. We'll have that player, we'll have that player, we'll have that player. But I can't see Donkey like Ed Woodward strash us in like that. Because like Aaron, I, I can't repeat myself, like Aaron put it already, this guy takes two months to go, oh, we'll pay a bit more, we'll do this. We already knew. Crystal Palace, you know what Crystal Palace said? 50 million for, for Juan Basaka. They said that three months before United bought him. And then we came and we said, said 80 uh, billion. no, no, no. But you know what, though, Aaron? I want to I put it to you. No. United no. spent 50 million on on, on, on Misako, 80 yeah. million on, on, on Harry Maguire. Does that not show you that they can go over the odds in terms no, of and then spending, they sold spending power? Then they sold Lukaku, you don't forget that. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, and just... oh, our, our net spending was what? 60 something million, something like 60 that. 60 million, yeah. 60 million. Yeah. So don't get it. What was the season before? Like 30 million. The yep. season before that, don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted, right? Ed, Ed Woodward. Sorry, Sarah. No, no, it's like, um, Ed Woodward is like that guy that I saw in the video recently. Um, there's an old man walking, not old man, in, but in his 40s, 50s, walking into a corner shop, buying a drink, and he goes, <laughs> how much is this? And he, the guy goes, uh, 150. I've got 50 beer here. Fuck you. Thank you very much. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> That's Ed Woodward for you. I love you know that, I mean? by the way. I I love, bro, that. that is the exact representation of Ed Woodward. That's Aaron, how he is. Yo. Aaron, is the sp spending been poor? Because we United have spent, or has the strategy been poor? So the lack of transfer committee, the lack of recruitment in terms of financial director, has that yeah. been poor or has the spending been poor for United? The, spend, the spending hasn't been poor, but we haven't spent wisely enough. We haven't spent wisely enough because every manager that's come in, remember, every manager's come in, we've backed them. Post Ferguson, Moyes came in. He wanted Fellaini, we got him Fellaini. In Matter. January, he wanted Mata, we got him Mata. He wanted Cruz, unfortunately, we didn't, he, he wasn't long enough. He wasn't at the club long enough for, for us to get him Cruz. But if he was still there, best belief we would have got Tony Cruz. And he would probably still be at the club. Van Gaal came in. He wanted Memphis, we got him Memphis. Way before the transfer window even started, we secured Memphis.
and Blind. He wanted um, Blind Schneiderlin. Was cheap. No, Blind was cheap. Blind was cheap. We, he, yeah, wanted, was... he wanted Schneiderlin, who at the time was doing bits with uh, Southampton. We got him Schneiderlin. Then he uh, got a few other players in. He left. He got, he got what's his name? Um, Di Maria. That was a big Mar- one. Bro. Oh, I even forgot about this guy. Di Maria. That was a big one. Big. Big sign at the time. I was like, what, 60, 70 mil, bro? You, we paid a lot of money for Di Maria. And United um, only lost out of maybe 50 mil, about five, six million United when they sold him back. So the loss wasn't that much. People think that the loss was a lot, but it was only five, six million. There you go. Mourinho came in. He wanted Zlatan. We got him Zlatan. He wanted Pogba. Well, I'm not sure about that, but we got him Pogba. He million. Spent in one summer, bro. He wanted buy. We got him buy. But then, Lin- how much did he spend on nets? I check it out because it's not four hundred million what he spent. I know, but, but what it I'm must say- have been at least three. It's three hundred. It's I think it's three hundred mil on nets. What I'm trying to say is that we spent money, but we didn't spend the money wisely in the areas that we really needed to improve. Is it. that Woodward's and fault? Also, or is that the- of course it is. No, but yeah, but it, it's Woodward's fault. But at the same time, if a man, if I'm the CEO and a manager comes to me and he says, "Yo," uh, I want Zlatan. I'll be like, all right, cool, I'll give you Zlatan. Or uh, I want this player. Well, how much is he, how much is he worth? I think he's about well, like 68. All right, cool, I'll give you this 60 to 78, uh, 80 mil. I'll give you that. Uh, yo, CEO, I want this player. How much is he worth? 50. I'll give you the 50. If I just keep giving you the money for you to buy the players, but then you can't do anything with it or you can't produce what you've been talking about producing, then... As much as we blame Ed Woodward, where, re- where, what do we really blame him for? Do you know what I mean? And I'm taking this because I've, I've watched Ranta's video and he, he's, he's talking about this and he's not wrong. I'm not defending Ed Woodward. Yeah, I'm not defending him. But if I'm a CEO and you just constantly ask me for money and I'm well, generous that, enough to, to give you the money, but you can't do nothing it. with the player that you buy. Like, is that my fault, I mean? is it? It's not my fault. Like, you... Mourinho nah, nah, wanted... Nah, nah, nah. Mourinho... Oh, Mar- oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, listen, 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 oh, 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 listen. Oh, Mourinho wanted... I'll give you an example. Mourinho wanted Lindelof, but then... You got for 30 for, million. But for about a season, he didn't play Lindelof. Mourinho got Fred, but for a season, he didn't play Fred. And I get the adaptation stuff and everything, da, 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 but if Mourinho... When Mourinho got Lindelof and he didn't play him and everyone said he was shit... When Mourinho got Fred and he didn't play him for a season, and everyone knew, okay, who's who's to blame for? Listen, who's to blame for? Let me tell you something. You know what, Nordin? Well, before that's before why I start and that. also, just Nordin. just to finish that my point before before <laughs> Nudin before Nudin goes before Nudin talks, um, all of that is mixed with the fact that we've recruited very poorly as well. Like, let's not get this twisted. Our recruitment is a shambles, bro. As much as I love Zlatan and as much as I liked him at the club, he was the wrong buy, my guy. He was the. We could have gotten a. I don't know what was what year was it? Two thousand sixteen was it sixteen? Yeah. yeah. We could have at, in two thousand sixteen. We could have we could have got Griezmann. We could have gotten a Lewandowski at the peak of his powers. We could have got a certified striker that's going to get twenty plus goals every single season. But instead, we just went for the famous names, and that I will blame Woodward for because he knows if I get this player. Mm, that's going to generate a lot of shirts. So if I bring Zlatan in, oh my God, people love Zlatan around the world. He's going to sell bare shirts. All right, cool. Let's get Zlatan in. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 before you start, yeah? No, 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 when you don't put structure in, you're going to have managers coming in and asking for bare things. But when you have proper structure, when you've got a footballing director, you've got a transfer committee, you've got a strategic team that's looking that's at this. That's my point. That, right? When you've got that, no manager can take the piss because manager has to answer to the footballing director. The footballing yeah. director is going to be thinking, well, I, you're a replaceable kid, but these players we're spending millions on, I don't want to be chopping and changing. So the footballing director looks at the thing, the first team squad and the whole squad and even the youth team and sees what's coming through, looks at it, the bigger picture of the club and the structure and looks at it all and says, here's how we do it. Here's how we make money. Here's how, what players that we want to get rid of. These are the players that want to... These are the positions and looks at every position. Center out, yeah. fullbacks, midfielders, strikers, wingers. Looks at all those different things and actually says, and communicates with people, right? Through their own cronies, you know what, in the media, communicates 
Man United are building a team to challenge. And this is what, how we're going to do it. We're not all going to splash out money. Because I don't believe money is the answer. Going and buying Galacticos names, it ain't it. That's Ed Woodward. Ed Woodward was splashing the cast on big names, not realising what Man United need. And sometimes... Has he not delivered in the big names? The money. We didn't need him to splash out the money. We needed him. We needed somebody with him to look at a team and the squad holistically and look at exactly That's position what we need. That's my point. Has he not helped That's himself totally. by not having the... That's your point. Around? That's on your boy, mate. That's, that's on my boy. That's on my boy. We're trying to say, come on, yeah, bro. You're in the post it. behind you there, mate. You want to have a <laughs> That's when you get Sancho. That's when you get Sancho to deliver mate. Sancho. Not now. Yo, that's your boy. So, Aaron. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Blaming no managers because at the end of the day, managers are higher than sack, bro. I'm blaming the guy who's in charge of the whole footballing operation, financial operations of Manchester United. Mm. The box stops with him. Nobody else. He's the one that writes off the checks. He's the one that agreed that the the Glazers are putting us on the, on under some some absolute rice diet. You know what I mean? Not no seasoning, mate. Just plain rice diet, mate. If he had if he had help, Noradin, if he had help, would he not be the best CEO in in, in the in the world if he had help? Because he delivered. He delivered the best players. Yeah, he could have been, but he's not learning. Instead, he go and gets your boy Neil Ashton. And this is the thing. This, this was going to be. Instead of going this... signing a footballing director, he goes and signs Neil Ashton. This was going to be. No, this was going to be my. This was going to be my next point, Nudin. And this is where I say that nobody at the club seems to want to take accountability, whether it's the CEO to the managing to the coaching staff to the players. Sometimes some of the players, nobody is learning from their mistakes. Edward Wood has made mistakes in the past, and I don't know if he sits down and thinks, "All right, cool." I've made a lot of mistakes in the past and I've made the wrong decision, I've, uh, decisions. I've signed off the wrong checks and I've signed off the wrong... I've given the green light to wrong transfers to, for people to come in and go out. How can I, in the future, make sure that I don't make these other decisions, these, these bad decisions? In his head at this time, there should have been an alarm bell and there should have been a little light bulb in his head. Bing! <coughs> Footballing director. Someone who can help me. He can do the practical stuff. I take care of someone of something else. He then comes to me with a report saying, okay, this is what we have. This, 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 this. And we're looking at this player and this player and this player. And then he can trust the footballer director mm. because the footballer director knows what he's doing, ultimately. Edward well, should have sat get down. The best out there. You get the best out there. You don't go and get the best propagandist like Neil Ashton. You go and get the best sporting director and you because, say nothing and you let the exactly. of because the world right now, speak for you. Because right now, what Edward was doing, yeah, He's instead of getting someone to help him with the football inside of things and the wrong decisions he's, he's made in the past, and he's doing it himself. That, he's no, he's actually getting someone in to make people believe that the wrong decisions that he's made in the past were good. Do you know what I mean? Like he's he's to be oh, fair, he's only he's only fooling himself because we we know we know in it. Like, can I ask you a question? What if, what if Listen, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you guys a question? What if, yeah. what if, what if, what if the, Listen, can I ask you a question, Saeed? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do a test like this, right? Do you know the CEO of Barcelona? Can, does uh, it come straight away? No, you don't. Do you know no. the, the Real Madrid? I'll be down. I'll be down. Do, do, well, because he's a famous footballer. That's the only yeah. reason why you know. Do you know this? Do you know the CEO of, of Bayern Munich? Because you know the struggle. Do you know the CEO of, of Milan? Or you or enter Milan? No, you don't. Do you, know the CEO, do you know the CEO of, of Liverpool? No, you don't. Do you, do you actually know the names? Of the CEO no. of Man City. So what's your point? What's your point? The point is that why are you knowing? Why are you known and one of the most hated CEOs? Do you think people just hate you for no reason? Do you think that people just hate you for no reason? If he was doing his job, Sai, nobody will know because no, all if, the CEOs are doing their election. job. We don't know them. The fans of the, the that support that club don't know them unless you're deking into every structure of the club. Why that? Neil Ashton has worked in football media. He's worked in football uh, correspondent. He's worked in football for the last 25 years. If he can somehow... He's worked for Murdoch, mate. He's worked for Murdoch and the Sun and all that BS, mate. What if... Murder what if it, mate. The Sun's a murderous newspaper, mate. What if he can bring a link for Woodford, mate? No, but what if he can... <laughs> Listen, but no politics here. No, what no, if he can... a blood minor, she wrote, mate. You no. Know, what if he can be the link between Woodward, him and Woodward, so that Woodward knows about transfers, because Neil Ashton knows football, so he can be the link and say, you know what? Sancho is worth that kind of much. 
and we can create a, a price. So Neil Ashton, so Neil Ashton, Neil Ashton, what you're basically you're breaking news now. Neil Ashton is there <laughs> underneath your bed, yeah. Now he's so telling me the football director. Yeah. So Neil Ashton, no, 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 no. Listen, Neil Ashton, Listen. Neil Ashton, is Neil Ashton Neil now becomes the footballing director. Why not though? I'm putting nah, out. bro. No, 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 no. What qualifications has Neil Ashton got? That's how mad this thing is, man. Bro, yeah. bro Neil Ashton, I'm telling you. Neil Ashton got? I'm, I'm telling you, say, Neil Ashton is only there. How many languages does Neil Ashton speak? How many languages does Neil Ashton speak? What, what contacts has he got? Never know. How do you know? He's got contacts to me, though. He's got more contacts to the football journalists, football no. agents. Football agents, football journalists, football agents, CEOs. You never know. He's talked to a lot of people in world football for the last 25 years. What? Yo, tell Neil to put him down, man. I know he's there, innit? Tell him to chill out, I'm trying to link it this, man. Yo, yo, say, say. The only reason the only reason why Neil Ashton is there at the club is to make sure that everything Ed Woodward does is being perceived as good somewhere <laughs> in the papers. Even no. if... E- listen, listen, listen. Even yeah, yeah. if Ed Woodward, yeah comes out, in, look, this corona, whole coronavirus thing is over, it's done, we start the next season. If Ed Woodward, <coughs> let's say, uh, who's, who's a player that you really like in the team? If magically he sells, let's say, some, I'm saying something stupid, by next year in Jan, he sells Bruno Fernandes. He sells Bruno, I guarantee you, Neil Ashton is going to bring out a whole article justifying Justifying, sorry, why that was a good decision. No, That's what Neil Lesson is no, here Neil for. He's not even bringing the article, bro. He's getting his cronies, his, his friends in the media to write these articles. To write these articles. Just to write these articles. No, but what if, what if Neil Lesson, yeah, if he gets Pochettino as manager and he's had a chat with him and they have a words, you know what I mean? And also, he chats to Jada Sancho and his entourage and whatnot. That surely can qualify him to say, you know no, what? Mate, no, I don't think... First, don't, first of all, I don't think... I don't, I don't think... I'm um, not a bear. I don't think... Man, you know, I got Ferguson. Fer- Fergie can pick up the phone. Uh, Rio Ferdinand can pass. pick up the phone. Rio Ferdinand. Sam Persson. That's not qualified. You know They've got more clout than flipping Neil Ashton, mate. Don't tell me. Rio yeah. Ferdinand's got more clout. I think you just respect Neil Ashton, man. Clout. All I don't think. got more clout, mate. As, Shut your mouth, man. You know, with all due respect to Neil Ashton and Ed Woodward, yeah, but if I'm a professional footballer and I, I know everything <laughs> about Man United, yeah, and I someone rings my... Listen, someone rings my phone... Yeah, and I pick up my phone. Yo, who's this? My name is Neil Ashton. I'm what? Neil, who? Who are you? Neil Ashton, I've 25 pick, years of corresponding football. You know what I, mean? I, don't football. I don't care, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't exactly, care. Man. If I'm a professional yeah, footballer, man. if yeah, I'm a professional footballer, and I pick up my yeah. and I pick up my phone. <laughs> if I'm a professional footballer, I pick up my phone. It's Neil Ashton. I'm hanging up. If I pick up the phone and it's Ed Woodward, I might stay on for like I might stay on the line for a minute and then hang up, hang up. But if it's if I pick up my phone. And it's Rio Ferdinand, bruv. I am listening to every single word that you're telling me. And I'm going to be like, yes, I'm coming. If, bro, if Alex Ferguson calls me, I'm saying yes before he even gives any explanation, bro. That's how much mm. of an impact these two have. Bro, I'm telling you, Edward Wood and Neil Ashton, they might be known because of, you know, the, the hierarchy they're working. But, bruv, they pick up the phone and call a footballer. The footballer's going to be like, mm. but if Rio Ferdinand calls, or Sir Alex Ferguson, bro. Oh, if- forget that. Forget that. You know what? Forget that, uh, Aaron. If the best sporting director in Money Can Buy calls you, he speaks all the different languages, can speak to three or four people in the club, speaks all the languages, knows exactly what the words in and out, then that player can be secured. So that, that footballing director tells everything, says, here's the folder, can send that player the folder. We've done this research on you. We know how you play. This is what we've got. This is what we're thinking maybe your wages could be. This is what we're good position you're going to play. This is what we're the team that we're building. These are the players we want to buy. That's what footballing directors do. They sell you the proper strategy of the club. Ed, I'm sorry, Saeed. I, I don't know, man. Do I'm trying to foresee. So, wait, Saeed, Saeed. Do you know I know, what, do you know Neil what? Ashton Duve covers there, but Neil Ashton, your boy. Saeed, Jack. do you, do you know why? End doing Jack, mate. Remember do you, that. Saeed, do you know why Nudin is right? Do you know why Nudin is right? In, again, I'll take the, the same example. I'm a, I'm a professional footballer, yeah? I get two, it's the transfer window, and I get two phone calls. I get a phone call from Ed Woodward, and I get a phone call from sporting director from, or CEO from Dortmund, Joachim Watzke. Why do you think... This links me back to Haaland. Why do you think we missed out on Haaland? Why do you think he didn't want to come to United? Even yeah, though project, he, know, he knows... He knows Oli. Bro, let's not get it twisted. They know each other. 
They've been together at Morda. They know each other very... Why do you think he didn't come to us? Because of the exact same reasons that Nudin just pointed out one by one. They probably sat down with him and they said, look, we know how you play. You know the amount of goals that you score. We know that certain amount... The, the numbers of goals that you scored is because you, were, you do these movements. You like to do this. You move like that. You like to get the ball into your feet. You like to get the ball in the air. I'm just giving examples. We know what's good for you. Man United probably just called him and said, Oli wants you and he likes you because he trained you at Molde. We can give you money. Do you want to come? What? Come on, bro. Like, you need a pro... This goes back to what Nudin has been saying time and time again. A proper structure with a proper run, well-run football club. That's where the play will go to. And this is why Dortmund, to me, will always be favourites over us. The only reason why we will be favourites to sign a player is like a Bruno Fernandes over a Dortmund is because of our history. He, look, he, look, he probably looked at, he looked at the history and said, yo, I'm Portuguese, you know, my, one of the biggest players well, or the most yeah. famous players in our country, Cristiano Ronaldo, used to play for United. I want to go there and leave my mark True. as well. He said but that. He said that, bro. He, he, he said literally that. said that. Literally said that. But as a young player, 18, 19 years, bro, where are you going? Are you not going to Dortmund to, to work Milligan. on your progression? You know, Duke Milligan, guess where he's going? That, that work's coming he's out. He's going to go to Dortmund. He's going to go to Dortmund. That's, that, 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 he's going to go to Dortmund. Dude. He's going to go to Dortmund. And I'm not going to blame him because what is he going to come to? What is he going to come do at United? What, rot in the under-23s? Do you know what I mean? Nah, man. Mm. Come on, bro. I don't know. I'm just trying to put things out there. Maybe <laughs> real life should be United's technical director. No, 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 no. So, Aaron, can you imagine... That a photo comes out. Neil Ashton, his arm around Poch, so oh. he will be literally be salivating. You know what I mean? Like tell you, man. That, like that. Yo, if, if, that happens, that happens, if that happens, if that happens, will make. If that happens, Saeed will make a special video where he's gonna tell both of us, "I told you." <laughs> like Ram says, "I told you." If, if if Neil Ashton can deliver Sancho and Pochettino, mate, I want to res- I want an apology from you, Nuridin. I want a big wow. apology. And I want you to say to me. <laughs> and I want you... <laughs> None of that spray. I want you to apologize to me and say, listen, no, apology. I was wrong. My apologies are sanitizer, mate. Wash your hands, wash your body. <laughs> That's what you're going to get, mate. Oh, and that note, we'll end this podcast, guys. That's been your podcast, 61 Straight Jacket Podcast. What is the life after, uh, after this corona and whatnot and this pandemic? Is United superpowers and, and the structure of the football club? What's going to happen? Is Neil Asher going to become technical director? No. You don't know. You never know. No. I'm going to put it out there. The title might be Neil Asher for technical director. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, my Neil God. Asher, the only thing Neil Asher is going to do is take his two pence and his uh, canteen token to get a bit of sandwich, mate. That's all he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> the deluxe like sandwich with a bit of uh, caviar, with a bit of caviar. You know, I want to know genuinely, you know what? Your viewers deserve <laughs> this. What did, how did Neil Asher get to you? When you were shaking hands with Igalo and chilling with Andy Cole and that. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? So you are going to have to just fess up, man. You have to tell the truth. What did well, the truth will come out. The truth will come out in due <laughs> course. <laughs> Aaron, socials. Yes, man. Uh, you can find me across all socials at Mr. Aaron UTD. Make sure you follow me and subscribe to my channel as well. Nuridin, socials. That guy, Red Devil, mate, for all your therapeutic needs. But after listening to you, I'm going to need all the therapy I can get. Because <laughs> you lost El Plote, mate. Like I said, Listen, like, man. Like I said, I'm one of the other The coronavirus is still Like I said, yeah. man, trust me. Corona Ashton, mate. Not Corona 19, <laughs> mate. Corona Ashton, mate. You've got Corona Ashton, mate. You know what corona I mean? Corona Ashton, there ain't yo. No, there ain't no vaccine, mate, for that one. There's no vaccine. Trust me. Vaccine is maybe Pochettino will win titles. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> guys of the losing state levels <laughs> yo you see that there it's, yo it's there it's there this is, that's Neil Ashton <laughs> there bro Neil Ashton's in there but he's it's been there five weeks but guys yeah, that's been your thing. podcast 61 straight jacket podcast and yeah man shout out to the people that have been on the live no and Aaron but guys lockdown still in course my like Boris is still not come out from his corona and whatnot. but stay indoor guys if you're out in the world and you're in Italy and you're in parts of the world, wherever you are, stay locked down. We will beat this and we will have football soon. And yeah, man, we just got to chill out and just catch vibes, man. That's all we can do. TikTok with my man. And I know that you can entertain us by giving us some more TikTok one dances. What are you doing this weekend? Any raves this weekend? 
Yo, well, we'll, we'll see, mate. I'm hoping that EZ does another one in it and does another rave in it because EZ, 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 uh, uh, EZ kept being entertained. Flex, Flex is doing one on his Instagram on Friday at 7 pm, I believe. So yeah, yeah, I can't check wait. out I'm Flex, link man. Up to that. You know, on the ones and twos and that. Yo, I'm, yo, I'm linking up to that, man. I'm, I might even give him a shout, mate. I might put some requests in already, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lordy guys, thanks for the video. Guys, if you're watching this podcast, Podcast 61, like the video and subscribe to United Central. Make sure to subscribe. Ellen, right down below. All it takes is two seconds, guys. Like the video. And what do you do? You agree? Neil last year for, for technical director. You know, we can do a job at United. <laughs> These guys don't believe that, but I do believe Neil Ash is my guy. Pochettino soon come, and we are gonna get to places. Guys, like the video, subscribe to United Central. All I'm saying, listen, all I'm saying is that. Subscribe to the video, you know what I mean? Please, people, come at him. Come at him. Come at Straight Jacket, because literally, he's got the Corona Ashton, mate. That's what he's got. But <laughs> one thing I would say, trust me, man. Trust me. One thing I would say is that Man United are not going to make a lot of signings. Reality check here, man. Reality check here, Saeed. Reality check. I don't know. I'm a believer. Guys, like the video, subscribe to that central. I'll see you soon. Take care. Yeah.